Hi, and thanks for tuning in today to our Bread Becker's Co-op tutorial video. Hopefully this will help you uh, learn about our co-ops, um, figure out how to join it, uh, learn when their ordering cycle is, and just give you some tips for utilizing this awesome service that we offer here at Bread Becker's. So we're gonna start off on our regular retail website, breadbeckers.com. This is the site you're gonna use when you just wanna place an order and have it either picked up in our store or have it shipped to you via UPS or through the postal service. But it is a great location to learn more about the co-op. So you can hover over this header co-op. You can read more about the co-op and learn how it works. Um, and then once you're ready to find a co-op near you, you're going to hover over the word co-op and then you're gonna click on this locations. It's going to bring up our current co-op map is what it's going to show you. And within that map, you may notice that we have everything color coded. So anything with the blue dots, those are part of our South ordering group. Then we have all these here in the center. That's our part of our central group, the yellow dots. And then our red dots are part of our north ordering group. And each of these groups order at separate times of the year. So all of the south co-ops order at one time, all of the central co-ops order at one time, and all of the north co-ops order at one time. And these are split up um, one per month, and then we have an off month and then we go back and repeat. You can certainly scroll in on this map and you can actually get fairly close and it's gonna show you pretty closely the exact coordinator's location for that particular drop. So you can really get a good idea just by looking at these pins um, that if you live somewhere in this area, then you're definitely gonna want to order from this co-op versus this co-op, even though both of them might be relatively close to you. This will give you at least a little bit better idea of which co-op location is closest to you. Um, you can even, once you know the name of the city or town um, of the co-op group, you can scroll down here, um, get another reminder of which group that co-op ordering location is part of. Then to find out the schedule for each group, you're gonna come back up here to the co-op header and you're going to go to the schedule button. And that's going to bring up our ordering cycle. Um, and so you can see here um, what the date range is for each group. It is very important to know that you are not able to place a co-op order until that ordering cycle has opened. And then once the ordering cycle has closed, you are unable to make any changes or add anything to that order. So it is really, really important to make a note of these dates and make sure that you get your co-op order placed within that date range um, or else it will close and you won't be able to add anything after that date closes. So once you have determined the location, the co-op location and the group that your location is in, then you are going to go to our very special dedicated website. You will not place your co-op orders on our regular Bread Becker's website. You are going to go to our special dedicated site of www.breadbeckerscoop.com. So that's breadbeckerscoop.com. This is um, the site that you will go to once you have joined a co-op and you're gonna come here and you're gonna log in and you're going to place your orders here, and this is where you're going to get all of your co-op information. So I would highly recommend that once you join your co-op that you bookmark this site um, to your browser. This will make it much easier and much less confusing when it's time to place your co-op order that you don't accidentally end up on our regular retail website. 
So breadbeckerscoop.com is where you're going to go. Obviously, we haven't joined a co-op yet, so we don't have a username or a password. Um, and so you're going to come down here to um, join a co-op. And you are just going to follow the directions. Uh, from the pull-down menu, you're going to choose a state. Um, you're going to join that co-op. You're going to fill out all of your information um, with your name and your address and all of your contact info. Um, and you're going to fill all of that out. And then you're going to get a confirmation email back from us. It will most likely come from the email address from info at breadbeckerscoop.com. And that's info at breadbeckerscoop.com. Definitely save that email address in your email system so that it doesn't end up in spam um, because that's how we are going to notify you when your co-op ordering cycle opens and when it's about to close. You will get reminder emails from us letting you know so that hopefully you don't miss that. So once you have gotten your confirmation email with your username and password, then you're going to come back to this breadbeckerscoop.com. You're going to put in your username, your password, and don't forget it's very important to answer this security question here, and then you're going to log in. Now, one thing to note about your username, it is your first and last name with no spaces and no capital letters has been a, an area of confusion in the past where customers are trying to use their email address to log in um, and it's not the system is not recognizing them so your username is your first and last name and then your password that was generated for you be sure to save that somewhere and then your um, answer the security question and then you're going to log in